making his way to the ring from Plymouth. This is the English Lion, Eddie Ryan. Now, last week might not have been the result that he wanted, but I have to respect the intentions of the English Lion, Eddie Ryan, who was the first to stand up and defend. Uh, you, you have to respect him going up against Jake Hager. You know, it was a tough one. As we said, Jake Hager did. He, you know, I hate to say it, but he cheated to win. He cheated to get past Eddie Ryan. You can't discount his skills. He's looking to pick up some momentum this week to bounce back from that crippling loss. He used the ropes, Jake Hager. He did. Plain as day. Eddie Ryan was, I think, on the verge of scoring a huge upset. He really impressed me with his determination, with his stickability. With, you know, basically, he wore... He, he wears the lion mask on his head, but to me, he's got the three lions on his chest. And without a doubt, he showed plenty of heart. And hopefully he can not be too disheartened by the fact that he lost last week and take it into this match against another big-name star. Well, there were several points in that match where you could see Jake Hager think, what else do I have to throw at the English Making lion? his way to the ring from South Africa, this is the Dare Wolf. Well, we talk about risk takers, and we've got Rob Van Dam, and we've got Rey Mysterio, and we've got John Morrison, but we haven't got until now a man who, for recreation, likes to throw himself out of planes for fun, Joe. Well, I think this is a very important matchup in the career of Eddie Ryan because, you know, this is this is PJ Black. This is one of the top athletes in independent professional wrestling. Okay, what happened last week with Jake Hager? But now, this is the real test. How is he going to perform after a crippling loss like that? Are we going to see the same Eddie Ryan or will he be deflated from the loss? This is his chance to regain some respect. Indeed it is, yeah. The skydiving sensation, the darewolf, PJ Black. From South Africa, now living in America against the man originally from Plymouth, now living in Swindon. There is a, 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 slight, a slight difference in uh, backgrounds there. Yep, and there is no mess around there. Straight to the side headlock, and we've got a couple of shoulder tackles and a taunt to the crowd. As I was saying, it's a mental thing as much a physical thing. Let them know, are you physically superior? Well, the shoulder tackle's a great way to prove it. Absolutely, quick pace right from the very get-go. PJ Black tripping Eddie Ryan and Eddie Ryan returning the favour. Wow. Referee Billy Broad checking in. And it's again, without a doubt, an extremely lightning fast start to this one. Huge drop kick there from the English Lion. That was a beautiful drop kick. You know, perhaps PJ Black made a mistake by after he delivered the double stop, turning his back on Eddie Ryan. Eddie Ryan making him pay for it with a drop kick, and now he's in the corner. Another uppercut there, straight off the ropes. Beautiful shot, and another one, a big elbow. Right across the sternum, one, two, and PJ Black getting his first opportunity here on the Free Sports Live show. PJ Black asking for a time out there, but Eddie Ryan not looking to give him one. Eddie Ryan, though, is going to give PJ Black a chance to get back in the ring. That's good sportsmanship yeah. there from the English Lion. Everybody needs a time out every now and then. Got an interesting backstory, PJ Black. His father was a promoter in South Africa which is how PJ got into the wrestling business, how he became interested. And then in 1999, his father tragically died when PJ was only 18. PJ left South Africa, he backpacked around Europe, didn't want anything to do with wrestling for a while, but then he found a training school in London, or he found a, a wrestling promotion in London and a training school in Portsmouth called the FWA Academy, which is where he trained to become a professional wrestler. And then later, settling in America, becoming a major star under a... The name of Justin Gabriel, you may be familiar with him as Justin Gabriel from the past. And now, once again, using his real name. And uh, the Darewolf, because this man is a thrill seeker. Huge inverted pump handle slam there from Eddie Ryan. I guess what you were saying, Greg, is someone, PJ Black is someone that's been around the wrestling business for basically their entire life. And you can see that passion with everything that he does in the ring. But right now, he's outside of the ring with Eddie Ryan holding the, the high ground. Let's see what happens. We've seen a lot tonight of whenever wrestlers go outside the ring, people attacking them or diving on them. Eddie Ryan not doing that. Eddie Ryan is giving PJ Black the opportunity to get back into the ring. Although PJ Black there, eschewing the hand, the handshake and using it for a short clothesline, but there's nothing illegal about that. 
Uh, well, there's nothing illegal about it, but it's, it's unethical, Greg. I mean, it makes me ask the question, is Eddie Ryan too nice a guy at this point? Well, like, that's a very fair point, to be, to be, to be fair. I mean, we saw Eddie Ryan so, show plenty of fire at the press conference four weeks ago in Sheffield when he stood up for British wrestling against Jake Hager and provoking a, a huge brawl which had to be separated by most of the five-star roster. And he definitely stood up to Jake Hager last week, but, you know, maybe you need a little bit of devil. And, and that's what Jake Hager certainly has. And PJ Black, not, not exactly showing that, though. PJ Black pretty much sticking to the rules here in the early going. This is pretty interesting. This uh, reminds me of mixed martial arts, where you take your opponent to where you want them to be. And right now, he's making somewhat of a mockery of Eddie Ryan by just gently bashing his head off the bottom turnbuckle. That wasn't so much about damage as, more, as much as it was about humiliation there. PJ Black broke both his legs last year in a, in a base jumping accident, quite similar to skydiving, not only from not from uh, quite so high up in the air. It's amazing that he's made the comeback that he has and looks as good as ever, moving as good as ever. Well, that's perhaps why he's such a successful pro wrestler is because he, he's the same person outside the ring as he is in the ring. It's all about high risk, high reward. He needs that adrenaline, adrenaline and right there it paid off as he came off the top rope. And a lovely guy, you know, like Eddie Ryan, you know, extremely polite backstage, extremely personal, very well, close friends, incidentally, with the five-star champion, John Morrison. They've been taking in some of the sights here on their tour of the UK. And if you, if you can take a look on YouTube, you might see the, the vlog that John Morrison and PJ Black have done, which we shared at facebook.com forward slash five-star wrestling. Wait a second. Ryan blocks the double axe handle blow. It's a big over-the-shoulder, belly-to-belly throw. Ryan is a master of suplex. He's not surprising for a manjo who spent time in the dojos of Japan. Absolutely. And one thing he's obviously picked up from the dojos is timing. Because that's really the only thing that you can use to combat someone who's, who's as fast and explosive as PJ Black is. You know, it's like Conor McGregor says, timing beats speed every time. Great action here on Five Star Wrestling Live on Free Sports. Between two scientific grapplers is how they, they used to call it back in the day. Two men who play by the rules, two fan favourites, but also ad adept at striking. That's PJ Black as a big spinning kick takes down Eddie Ryan. I mean, maybe here's the thing. You talk about PJ Black being a nice guy, but the thing is, he wasn't being so nice when he went for the handshake and then used it to clothesline him onto the mat. I tell you what, that was impressive because he didn't quite get it right the first time, but if at first you don't succeed, try a springboard moonsault again, as the old adage goes. Wait a second. Now we know that PJ Black is famed for that 450 splash, but Eddie Ryan is not worn down. It took a heck of a lot of for, for Jake Hager to beat him. And in fact, really, you could argue that Jake Hager did not really beat him into submission or beat him helpless. He had to use chicanery to get the job done. And PJ Black wasn't able to finish off Eddie Ryan there, but maybe the tables have turned because Ryan has hit a beautiful release back suplex off the ropes. Billy Braun makes the count, but very out close kicks fall black. on the release German suplex there for the middle rope. And as we were saying, it, Greg, again, it's that timing beat speed. Eddie Ryan's never going to match the speed of PJ Black, but he can try and catch him with that timing and his proficiency with suplexing. He's in amazing shape, but can he get the finish? Has he got the killer instinct that he didn't show last week against Jake Hager? PJ Black takes a huge shot to the jaw. Black is rocked. And rocked badly. And wait a second, I think you... Is this he was George Cross? This week. I think it is. Yes! He's hit it. One, two, two three. three. And that's it. Eddie Ryan victorious. That Ladies was... Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, the English Lion, Eddie Ryan. Greg, I would call that unnecessary victory for Eddie Ryan. He needed that. He couldn't have another week in the loss column there. He needed to bounce back. And this is why this man has been signed to Five Star Wrestling. He is a, a gentleman who many people didn't know very much about before we started live on Free Sports. He made a name for himself at the press conference. He cemented that name last week in a closely fought loss to Jake Hager. And tonight, he has defeated the Darewolf, an international star, Eddie Ryan.
And do you know oh, what? Oh, really nice guys paid ahead. off because look at the respect shown between the two athletes there. You know, I have to give credit where credit's due to both athletes, but tonight, Eddie Ryan was the better man. The story there, timing beats speed. Certainly does. And you know, it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. You know, they say nice guys finish last. That didn't happen tonight. Eddie Ryan finishes first. And he'll be moving on in Five Star Wrestling to bigger things as we move forward in the weeks ahead. So, Eddie Ryan victorious over the Darewolf. PJ Black, great win for the English Lion right there. His first in five-star wrestling. Absolutely. As I said, Greg, that was a necessary victory. Last week was difficult for Eddie Ryan, but tonight he managed to get the job done and still be a nice guy. Well, last week, Eddie Ryan was very, very unfortunate against Jay Hager. And last week, speaking of last week, we saw Moose and Rampage Brown go head-to-head -head, quite literally, Joe. I mean, that was one of the most violent matchups that I can ever remember seeing, especially with the powerbomb to the outside of the ring. That is the hardest part of the ring. And can you imagine being powerbombed by Rampage Brown? It's unthinkable. And Rampage victorious after a low blow, which the referee didn't see, and then not one, but two.